If you love systematic reviews, if you're interested in meta-analyses, if you enjoy synthesizing published or non-published clinical evidence, then you've come to the right place. And what I'm about to show you is going to blow your mind. Hey there, my name is Jeff Johnson, Chief Design Officer here at Nested Knowledge. In this video, I want to share with you the Nested Knowledge software platform, which was built from the ground up for industry standard workflows in conducting systematic reviews and meta-analyses. Whether you're a lone wolf researcher working in academia or you lead a team of scores of researchers working in industries like HEOR or medical affairs, um, Nested Knowledge was built for you. And so I'm going to share just at a very high level today. I can't possibly get into all the details. Those will have to wait for subsequent videos uh, as to how the Nested Knowledge software works. Before I do that, though, I want to just highlight that the first review is free. You can go to nested-knowledge.com, hit sign up and start creating and uh, enter your details here. And you'll get a free account where you can check out a demo nest and then dive right in and complete an entire systematic review and meta-analysis for free. So what makes Nested Knowledge so special when it comes to uh, conducting systematic reviews and meta-analyses? Couple things set us apart from other software you may or may not be familiar with. First of all, it's split into two parts. So there's Autolit and Synthesis, the workflow portion, which facilitates collaboration uh, and, and just industry best practices for, for conducting your systematic review and meta-analysis. And then there's the synthesis portion, which allows you to quickly visualize uh, all of your data as you're working and even after you're working. The entire thing uh, is built from the ground up to enable what we like to call living systematic reviews. In other words, a review that once created can quickly be updated. Uh, this is sort of a workflow diagram. I'm also just going to dive right into the software and show you uh, what that looks like. So on the sidebar here, I've got all of my modules from literature search. Uh, well, actually, protocol from, from the Nest Home is protocol. And then you go literature search, screening. And of course, we've got dual screening, all, all that stuff. Uh, tagging, meta-analytical extraction, uh, all the way through to uh, synthesis. Not pictured here because it's turned off for this Nest is critical appraisal, which is also an option. On synthesis, then, everything that you do in Autolit, so you can see we've got this dotted line over here, it, which leads to the Prisma flow diagram. So everything you do when you import records, when you screen those records, is going to be automatically reflected in synthesis. So, uh, for example, my Prisma chart looks like this for this particular nest. I've imported a bunch of records from a couple of different databases. I've made some screening decisions about those records and I've decided to exclude some of them. Uh, all of that is automatically updated and reflected in real time in the synthesis portion of our platform. Similarly, so if we go back to our Wikipedia page here, our wiki page, documentation is all online. I'll link that in the description. Um, as you extract data, that too is reflected automatically in synthesis and you get some really beautiful uh, interactive visual diagrams of, of your literature, which allows you to quickly focus down on the particular outcomes of interest, population of interest, etc. And all of that is entirely configurable based on your particular study design. Don't worry, I'll show you how to do it in a later video, just providing a broad overview here. So here you can see for outcomes, I've got some adverse events here, nausea being one of them. And I've got a bunch of studies that were tagged with that particular information. This is qualitative data that I can drill down on immediately. And you can see what other tags have been applied to this particular study, uh, as well as you know, other data, quantitative data, and uh, you know, some which search uh, brought it into this particular nest. In this case, it was just uh, expertly recommended. It brought in manually. So, uh, and the same is true, of course, for meta-analytical extraction. We've got a whole host of calculations that are done automatically just by sheer fact of you properly extracting that data inside of the nested knowledge platform. I'll show you what that looks like. So for quantitative extraction in this case, 
We've got, you know, a summary of your data. I can quickly drill down to my antivirals of interest and I can see what the mortality rate looks like for those particular antivirals of interest in this particular nest. I can see uh, that we've got a little outlier detector here all the way through to a network meta analysis. You can see your odds ratios. We got I squared here. Uh, you know, you got your little NMA uh, deal here. And we can quickly see uh, for our antivirals of interest, uh, you know, uh, what the odds ratios versus the other interventions, the comparators in this particular nest. All done, shown automatically. These are calculated for you just by sheer fact of, uh, you know, extracting your data inside of the nested knowledge platform. So, that's how it works. If you're interested to learn more about this software, stay tuned. We've got more videos coming and I'm going to walk you through every step of the way, how to set up your first project in the nested knowledge platform. Oh, by the way, we've got some really powerful artificial intelligence algorithms to help you out as well. Literature search for screening for data extraction. We're going to help you every step of the way. And it's going to be the fastest, and the uh, most seamless systematic review you've ever done in your life. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.